Oh God, here we go. Oh, what, what if we married Maybe. somebody off? Oh. oh, he's he's gone. Oh. Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight our House of the Dragon uh, journey continues. We're taking a look at episode nine. Now, in the last one, I think it's finally safe to say that the king is no longer with us. If he comes back for this one, he's like <laughs> missing more arms and a couple of legs are gone and a few more holes in his face. I might have some issues with it, but um, in all seriousness, uh, what's really picking up is that the king, Viserys, thought he was talking to Rhaenyra and he was actually talking to the queen and, and giving uh, her the instructions that were intended for Rhaenyra. So is that going to affect things? Are they going to roll with, you know, the king told me on his deathbed? I have to, you know, I have to imagine that um, that would be heavily contested from everybody else that uh, that that wasn't there. I mean, because really, yeah. on his deathbed, it's him and the queen. Uh, she could make up whatever she wanted. Um, but, you know, she was with him, um, you know, when he took his last breath presumably so i don't know i don't know how that plays out but i'm guessing without a witness without anything written down without any uh, one of those fancy wax stamps yeah, or something the, seal, the yeah. seals uh i got to imagine that um i'm guessing that she's gonna try playing that hand and they're gonna be like no that's a, <laughs> no we're that's not. a that's a convenient <laughs> story that you have that right before he died yeah. you know before he could tell anybody else when a couple hours ago at dinner yeah, you he know? just he laid it all out there. Now you also got to remember when he left dinner, it was when things were still good, yeah, right? He was, thought he thought it was good. He, he was happy. Family was together one last time while well, he was alive, rather. Um, but uh, Those young kids started causing all the problems. Oh God, the drama is. I feel like it's really just starting to ramp up. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited to see how this episode plays out. And like you said, man, if the king is still alive, <laughs> uh, I don't even know what to expect. <laughs> That's gonna be the opener. Be the king, We're like ah. Well, guys, there's only one way to find out. Let's go! Wow, look at this place. Yeah, Just quiet empty. and empty. Some symbolism there, huh? Who's this kid now? Are we at a... Let's well, we can't be at a flashback because the throne was full of swords. It's another time jump? <laughs> We're just going to... Jump ahead another six years. You're sure? I think she just... <laughs> uh. mm. It is so nice, your grace. She oh, would have known, wouldn't she? Somebody saw something with his own eyes. So he saw Stay somebody here. saw something. Tell no one. Oh. I, so the little, the little boy saw something. Who knows? My handmaiden tell you. Some of the servants. I saw him last night. Did the son do something again? He told me he wished for Egon to be king. It is about the king passing. Just seems weird. I thought she knew. It is the truth. Uttered with his own lips. Just like you said. The last words to me and I was the only one to hear it. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And now he's dead. Boy, if you were a candle maker back in the day, you were just raking it in. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that could not await an hour? Was Dawn invaded? The king is dead. All right, how's it going to play out? She's going to tell them. With his last breath, he impressed upon the queen his final wish. His son, Egon, should succeed him as Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. Uh, can this be verified? That's yep. a convenient story. The king was well last night, by all accounts. Oh. Which of you here can swear that he died of his own accord? Throwing Which that of us out there. are you accusing oh. of regicide, Lord oh. The old pillow trick. Yeah, the old gladiator. Commodus ending it. No oh. oh, he's, he's gone. Oh. He just got deleted. Dude. Sir Criston just 86 would him. Throw down your sword and remove your cloak, Sir Criston. What's going to happen with him now? I'll not suffer insults to her grace, the queen. There was no insult to me, Sir Criston. You got to side your blade. 
think Grand Octavius. He just take took him. the dude out. As I come to this, Lord Commander, enough. Let us have Lord Peasbury removed. <laughs> no, the door remains shut until we finish our business. Well, and you think <laughs> this is just going to sit with Damon mm -hmm. and Rhaenyra? Rhaenyra? We may not assume the loyalty of Lord <laughs> Boris, but he has four daughters, all of them unmarried. The right proposal. Oh, oh God, here we oh, go. What, what if we married Maybe. somebody off? You mean to imprison her? She and her family will be given the opportunity to publicly swear obeisance to the new king. She will never bend the knee. Never. Nor will Damon, which you know. You plan to kill them. And all here accede to this. Your father is correct, Your Grace. A living challenger invites battle and bloodshed. It is unsavory, yes. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> he was telling a story! The king wouldn't wish for any of the king did not wish for the murder of his daughter. He loved her. I will not have you deny this. And yet. One more word, and I'll have you removed from this chamber and sent to the wall. Oh. She still is the, the queen. Wall. Look at her stepping up and like doing what's right. At least semblance of that. St stopping all the scheming and plotting. Time is of the essence. Lord Commander Westerling, take your knights to Dragonstone. Be quick and be clean. He ain't going to do it. Yep. Turning in his cloak. I am Lord Commander of the King's Guard. I recognize no authority but the King's. And until there is one, I have no place here. Where is Ergon? Not here. He's not <laughs> in his rooms. Father, what does that mean? Uh, he's off. Partying? Yeah. Partying, suspicious activity. What's happened? Philandering, fornicating. It's odd that she was sewing a, a spider. That's not exactly something you'd think to normally do. Your father, there is a beast beneath the boards. Oh, my dearest love. Oh, she's going crazy. <gasps> That's not the son. Where's the oldest? I believe he may have left the keep secretly. Gone into the city. Find him. Oh, he's at one of those fun houses. Is that what the kid was saying he saw with his own eyes? Because that little kid didn't see. He saw the prince leave with his own eyes. That's what he was telling. Mm. The little Bring kid wouldn't say he saw them. The little kid wouldn't go to the mom and say, I saw the king, king die. Yeah, that's a good point. Unless he was spying. Oh no. What is going on? They're locking everybody up who's associated with Rhaenyra. Is that what I'm seeing? Anybody who knows where the prince is, maybe? Oh, look at this. Oh, of course this, he's there. This guy. Remember, she said, who else knows? Some of the yeah, servants. Right. Found in the castle will be great. Your father has sent Sir Eric into the city to find him. Sir Eric knows, Egon, he has the advantage. This, this kid's a badass, <laughs> right? And he's got a dragon. Yeah, and an eye patch. Egon must be found and he must be brought to me. The very fate of the Seven Kingdoms depends on it. I don't think uh, that... I'll come with you. That would not be my desire, Aemond, if anything has happened. Cole needs me, mother. Sir Eric isn't the only one who knows Egon's doings. You know, somebody had brought up in the comments, like, oh, they, they sure did get a teenage actor that looks an awful lot like Damon, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they did. Now, granted, nephew, so that makes sense. Yeah. But <laughs> we'll see if he has the same ambition. Storylines. Not up, fellow. He said time to get it wet. Every <laughs> woman is an so image of the mother God. to be spoken of with reverence. Well, Sir Kristen, it's not exactly how it works on the old Silk Road down here. You see, the man we seek is the young Prince Aegon. I may trust, I hope, in the discretion of your trade. <laughs> you better give her some gold coins. The Prince coins. is not here. Has he been here? Earlier, perhaps? Quite a bit earlier. Years ago, in fact. But more recently. He does not frequent the Street of Silk. His tastes are known to be less discriminating. Well, so what kind of stuff is he into? Less discriminating. Like a like a big party. <laughs> he likes to be involved in big parties. You once wore your banners to Rhaenyra. You must 
Now pledge them to the future king. Oh, that's... I must confer first have. with my house on this matter. You'll not leave this room without declaring your intention. Oh boy, he doesn't like those choices. I will not bend the knee. Anyone else? Housefell keeps its sworn oath to the princess. Very well. This dude's way overstepping his boundaries. Big time. That guy's Long like, yeah, the king. I don't want to be disappeared. Oh, he's in the See, I don't, I don't trust him to be even in in line with what uh, with what this guy's trying to set up. I think he I has think his own he's motives. He's got his own motives, yeah. He wants to go to whoever the highest bidder. Yeah, Hightower's, I, I don't think he's with Hightower, dude. Seems you were mistaken as to Ergon's habits. He could be in the hands of mercenaries on a ship to Yeeti. He could be dead. Let us hope for your mother's sake that is not the case. Wouldn't he just be next then? Because he was the second born son from the same king. And if you're just if you're ditching Rhaenyra's claim aside. Oh boy. What do we got going on here? Maybe he likes to uh, fight uh, in public? Uh, Down. Oh, Fight Club. Yeah. There we go. With... Oh, come on. There's like a seven-year-old there. They have them grow the nails and file the teeth. Makes them more formidable. Jesus. File their teeth? Prince Egon spends many a night in this place. You see now what he is. Not seeing everything. Egon. One of many I'd wager. <laughs> His own kids? Oh, he's got a bunch of kids. Yeah. Dude, this show. Oh, my oh, God. Wow. I'm next in line to the throne. Should they come looking for me, I intend to be found. Oh. He's trying to get out of there, man. They did a good job of making this him is just their... nervous. I can take you to Prince Egon. Rather, I'm sent by one who knows where he is. I'll tell you for a price. I'll deliver him. I will consider your price. My mistress will not treat with the servants of the keep. Huh. Exalted though they may be, she'll trust this to the hand of the king only. Impossible. I think he will wish to hear what the white worm can tell him. The white worm. The white worm. I wasn't ready for a kids' fight club where they file their teeth and grow their nails out. Yeah. They're gonna. This is gonna stop last minute. It's gonna be that. Yep. I have no love for the princess. Where were you going then with such urgency? Let the king's justice take him. Why didn't you just say like I was trying to get back to my own kingdom to prepare things? Man, what is going to happen when Rhaenyra comes back in the picture here? How many dragons do they have? Gosh, I don't what remember. Was there eleven they total? Split them up. Yeah, I think there was eleven, and then and the boys got one, the largest one. Yep, but then they were having some more eggs. Remember? Mm -hmm. Damon had them. Your daughter dead, alone in Pentos. Your son cuckolded. Rhaenyra's heirs are none of yours. <laughs> Ouch! Jeez. Who grasps so heedlessly for the throne, and even he has abandoned you. Gone these six long years to fight a desperate battle, returning grievously, if not mortally wounded, oh. leaving the Lady of Driftmark to chart her course alone. Oh, so she's implying that the husband isn't sick? He's just gone? Yeah. If it's Driftmark you want, you shall have it. For you and your granddaughters to pass on as you see fit. You are wiser than I believe she should be, Alicent Hightower. A true queen counts the cost to her people. And yet you toil still in service to men. Your father, your husband. Your son. Is she giving her the, is she giving her the pep free, talk to, to take make charge? A window in the wall of your prison. Oh, you don't desire to be free. You just want a window in your prison. <gasps> yeah, she's telling her to take the reins. She's the queen, I guess. I mean, I, I guess theoretically she could sort of rule until things are ironed out. But Rhaenyra's gonna. Make a claim as soon as as soon as she finds out the king is gone. Uh, somebody will get back to Rhaenyra. Yeah. My friend. That's Damon's old friend. Mm -hmm. 
My condolences on the passing of your king. Does everybody know? I want an end to the savage use of children in Fleabottom. They are forced to fight and worse. You gold cloaks take the bribes given them to look away. An obscenity. Either tolerated or ignored by the crown. Oh, so she's leveraging to get the fight club yeah. shut down. I'll look into it. There is no power but what the people allow you to take. I will remember. Or the second you have your hands on your grandson, you'll punish her for trying to make a power move on you. Mm -hmm. Where is the white worm? She sold you for a price. And why have you paid it? I want my mother. Your grandfather, the hand, will meet you outside the city walls. <laughs> <laughs> He's just He's trying, trying to run. <laughs> you flee with all the men die, see, Kinnegon. He just doesn't want it. <laughs> I do regret this, friend. What's about to happen? I think he knows. <laughs> what is going they're gonna, on? They're gonna 86 Aegon. His brother's gonna do it. <laughs> is he gonna take out his... I was hoping you disappeared. Is our father truly dead? Yes. And they're going to make you king. Is he going to take out his own oh. brother in broad daylight? I have no wish to rule, no taste for duty, I'm not suited. You let me go, I will find a ship and sail away, never to be found. The queen awaits. What do, you th do you think his brother was considering it? Hell yeah, he was. Yeah. We've relied on one another these many years, and now it is the good of the family that we both desire. Mm-hmm. No king has ever lived that hasn't had to forfeit the lives of a few to protect the many, though I understand your squeamishness. Reluctance to murder is not a weakness. Very true. <laughs> Solid point. I have egg on. We'll proceed now as I see fit. She's gonna put herself up there. <laughs> if she lives, her allies will mass behind her banners looking for her return. Then she must not return. Her husband would have desired this mercy be shown to his daughter. Your husband or you, his daughter's childhood companion. Both? Yeah. Asshole? <laughs> because of you? <laughs> My son will take the crown of his namesake, the Conqueror, and carry Blackfire, his sword. Let the people remember the ancient strength of House Targaryen. You look so much like your mother in certain lights. <laughs> yeah, that didn't, that didn't earn you any points, bro. Yeah. That, was, that was borderline eye roll right there. As you wish. <laughs> was, he, was he Wesley <laughs> from Wesley. <laughs> Princess Bride now? <laughs> Oh, this is getting so like convoluted and thick no right grace. now. Just a mess. This guy. Dick. Oh, God. Right, Lord Laris. What I found word. out something you should know. Of course you, you have. Asked yourself, yeah. I wonder how it is that your father, the Hand, found Egon first. Is he backstabbing her dad? Might be. I don't put anything past this guy. It's a little more comfortable. More than once it has proved advantageous to those willing to feed the weaver. This weaver watches me. Is he just really into her feet? Did we just get a foot fetish? I think we did. I think that's why she's getting the info. What kind of it weird is. foot fetish <laughs> shit is this? That's how she's getting the info. Look at him. This guy's in oh, the feet. He loves those feet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you. There are more like her. Even I do not know their number. <laughs> what the fuck? When the queen dies, the bees fly without purpose. Begging your pardon for the turn of phrase, your grace. Was the old man on planning on this taking her out? Than your expertise. No, I think they will the spies. It will be done. Just, uh, just, just, <laughs> let me check those feet out for a little longer. <laughs> Did we really just get a we foot did. fetish scene look, in Game of Thrones? Look at this Thrones? guy. Oh, come on, dude. What, right here? What, what are we... What, you know, that's, what's there's going? so much important stuff that just happened right here, but we we're distracted what? by Mr. Foot over here. With me, princess. 
I cannot let this treachery stand. Oh boy, how's this gonna play out? This is a setup, is what this is. Getting rid of the queen to <gasps> make the bees. They hung the dude who questioned it first mm -hmm. and was gonna leave. Yeah. This is all set up. I think you're right. Doesn't feel right. You remember in Gladiator when Russell Crowe was supposed to get out and then you found out it was all a setup? The black water's this way. But he knows stuff is sketchy, so yeah. he might be doing the right yeah. thing. Maybe he's on the level. Was that where she was staying? <sighs> Guys in the comments, I'm sorry, but I'm I'm really confused right now. This way. God, their armor is so badass. Yeah, it is. So. They're looking for. <laughs> Throw a few sheep, sheep in there, in there. to kind of. Uh, highlight the calamity of it all. Mm -hmm. Oh, they are rushing to this, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Oh, there it is. Uh, I'm getting a bad vibe about him being... We must not rule with cruelty and callousness. For all her fault, she is your sister, not your father's daughter. Do you love me? You imbecile. <laughs> you imbecile. That's a lot of people. Oh, look at that building. How did they build a dome <laughs> top like that back then? No cranes. Not one. Yeah, dragons. That's just, true. Just go with it, okay? Yeah. Viserys the Peaceful is dead, but it is also the most joyous of days. For as his spirit left us, he whispered his final wish that his firstborn son, allegedly, Aegon, should succeed him. <laughs> Ain't nobody buying that. <laughs> ah. Yeah, because remember the realm, like the people generally want. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, they're bringing the king, the new king in. Yeah, if there was something going on, they would have, you'd seen like a weird look on the face of the people up on stage. Yeah. Look at how proud uh, he is. All my scheming paid off. That's what he's thinking. God, are, anybody else just waiting for a dragon to fly in and just a big breath <laughs> right inside that whole place? It is your great good fortune and privilege to be here to witness this a new day for our city kind of reminds me of the undertaker at wrestlemania with the torches he did not look happy no i mean gosh do you think something's gonna happen or is he just gonna take the throne and we'll move on to the next episode here Look at Sir Kristen. He came a long way up, right? Mm -hmm. Rainier is nowhere in sight. Mm -mm. Sketchy. Real sketchy. May the warrior give him courage. Uh, what's she doing? May the smith lend Oh, strength the wife just and hates sword him. And <laughs> May the father defend him in his need. Okay. May the throne lift her shining lamp and light his way oh, she's to going wisdom. to dragon pits. Oh, oh, God. The crown of the conqueror passed down through generation. I thought it was going to be like Prince John and Robin Hood. Oh, like, look at the yeah. shot of the Gilly brother. Like Giving the him a look. Bear witness, Aegon Targaryen this is the true dude. heir to the Iron Throne. Oh, look at Otto, you smug jerk. Egg on the king! Oh, oh, he's getting a he's, taste of the power. Think he's starting to like it? Just from the, the roar of the crowd? Oh, yeah, he's into it now. The brother's like, all right. 
Oh, ho, ho! Is the dragon gonna come up? Right it to is. the fucking floor. Are you, Are you kidding? Right? Does the dragon get a friggin' torch, everybody? Oh my god, this is the is most badass thing ever. Is she gonna do it? Is she gonna friggin' torch everybody? Dude. Okay, so is the king, have they tried to get him out of there? Is he run or are I, they are still I all there? I think they're all there. Say it. Is she oh, and she's got her armor, armor on, on and too. shit too. I mean, so the, she, the she king got, died. She wants her place at yep. the throne. Well, or she wants to wipe out all of them and Rhaenyra will be installed because there'll be nobody <gasps> left. Who does she have closing the doors? Open the door! She's got the dude. She's taking over the throne. Uh, Graham McTavish's character, I think, is controlling the yellow cloaks and closing everybody in. This is, is the most. Wipe them all this is out? the most badass thing I think I've ever seen. Holy shit! Is she gonna do it? Look at that thing! Oh. <laughs> That was a warning, is what that was. I thought she was gonna nuke them all. Oh. Holy shit. Because remember, they said they would need her dragon. Jeez, guys. What? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, well, there it was. Wow. House of the Dragon, and guys, I... Yo, know, first off, I do want to apologize if you were watching that and if if I was making a bunch of wrong guesses and, and getting things mixed up, but it's only because I was so excited and just having a hard time following everything. Um, I definitely had questions, but the one thing I do not have a question about is what happened at the end there. That was like the biggest flex in the history of flexes. You show up with your dragon and instead of nuking them all with the dragon's breath you just let him know hey anytime i wanted to i could have completely ended your entire bloodline like that i mean that was incredible i feel like that's gonna really be the main point of of the story for for this episode everything was kind of a build up to that the reluctant king the little bit of politicking and backbiting that we're used to seeing and where's rhaenyra how is she gonna find out but in the end boy the law was laid down this is just beyond incredible i mean this show has been so good and you know they, they, they were set up with such high expectations after how incredible game of thrones was and, and the pressure for them to deliver in just every episode they keep nailing it and i mean that ending what well, i mean and this is only she, the first season. She comes up through the floor, <laughs> smashes the concrete. That building's pretty much trash now. And she's got her armor on, yeah. right? Like, and it just looks so badass. She obviously had people with her because when they said open the doors, they started closing yeah, them a the little bit clothes. to kind of keep people in. And and I think they wanted, she wanted people to see, like, this is what happened. I could have toasted the queen the king and everybody up on that pedestal and she just flew off and you have to assume that she's flying off to let Rhaenyra know what's oh, going on 100 percent, and she's taking her dragon with her and now mind you Rhaenyra has that uh th that little secret that uh Valor's not dead mm -hmm. right and that that was all planned so he could go live a happy life yep so um let's not you know write off that she might tell the queen that oh, like look, absolutely we couldn't tell anybody i loved your son um and we wanted him to live his happy life yep when the, so if she finds go. that out oh it's and you don't do damon's ruthless right yep. um, we as we saw keep his tongue yeah so i mean this was just incredible i was a little thrown off by the introduction of a foot fetish <laughs> yeah because because that, that was it was i mean like question. she sits down and i'm like oh she's taking her shoes off 
And then he kept looking. There was, you know, I, in the previous episodes, you could tell, like, dude had a thing for her, right? Mm -hmm. Like, one of those, like, harmless crushes. Like, he knows he doesn't have a chance, but, like, he's still going to be like, yeah, whatever for the queen, you know? And, of course, you have handsome Sir Kristen, who I think has a thing for the queen now, too. Uh -huh. But he's definitely plays it off uh, a little bit more um, level-headed, I guess. But there was no indication None. in any of the previous episodes that anything was actually going on. And then, like, the socks and then the feet, and then she turned the other way. And He's, dude she's just, doing some self-service. I mean, there. but it's, I mean, it's, it's Game of Thrones, hey. right? So they threw that in uh, um, uh, an interesting Gosh. point. But, I mean, this, this show is just, it's so entertaining. It draws you in. It mm. keeps you excited. And leading into the final episode, it's like... Okay. What's going to happen? Like you said, this is only season one. Yeah. And that's important to note because when I watched Game of Thrones, uh, the original, I don't remember being hooked like this series has me hooked in the first season. I kind of remember everybody telling me how good Game of Thrones was. And like, okay, just you got to get a few episodes under your belt so you kind of know everybody and you get the lay of the land a little bit. And I don't think I felt that way with this. I feel like I was pretty much ready from the word go. Uh, as we've said before, it is all the drama and scheming of a good 80s <laughs> yes, daytime soap opera with uh, with dragons, knights, some partying, <laughs> a kids fight club. Kids fight club and oh, feet. Foot fetish. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's just been such an excellent show. I'm 100% just laser focused, sucked in on trying to figure out what's gonna happen next yep. and you know something's big is yeah. happening with Rhaenyra now let's you know the, the one kind of thing that I'm wondering about is we know um the uh the prince not Aegon his brother mm -hmm. he's got the largest dragon in the world yeah so and okay which more is that worth but he doesn't like the king either no, he wants the power. So if they came with their dragons, is he really going to defend his brother? I just, I, I, I yeah. don't know what's going to happen. And I just feel like... Well, he likes Rhaenyra less. Yeah, well, he yeah. he doesn't like Rhaenyra's boys. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, the whole I think. But I, I just think there's, there's, there's so many different, like, active plots yeah. and things could go so many different ways. And, um, like, I was, look, I was fully expecting people to be like, yeah... King's dying wishes, but they had, and then they threw the twist at us. They'd all been plotting it the whole time, yeah, and yeah. plotting to take out Rhaenyra and Damon. And let's and, not forget, uh, Sir Kristen '86 and that guy right at the table yeah. smashing his head into his marble. Yeah, I mean, so look, the, the writers of this show do, and and I I I'm, I don't know the background, so I don't know how much source material they have. I mean, you, you guys have been really great in the comments keeping us educated on the past stuff um but i don't know if if you know the books lay out um lay out like everything to detail and even if they did you know we know so often yeah. tv shows and movies you know uh that their adaptations always aren't like you know completely adherent to yeah. what the books are but uh regardless the, the the writing of the show whatever they're taking from the books now I, i'm not uh, a purist i should say so there may be some people watching being like that was inaccurate but look i don't care who you are this is this this show is as entertaining as it gets and leading into the last episode i can say with complete confidence that this is every bit as good as any season of game of thrones mm -hmm. was yeah absolutely and i just have two things i really want you guys to help me out with in the comments hopefully you made it this far because i'd love to see your answers to these questions i have one what do you think is going to happen with the princess taking her dragon and leaving presumably to tell Rhaenyra where do you think that's going to go and two what do you guys think would have happened what would have been like the power vacuum that would have happened if she would have just nuked everybody in that building and just <laughs> taken out that entire bloodline I would love to hear your guys comments on what would happen who would take power because I mean it would have to be Rhaenyra I would think right she would have to come back that's I'm not I'm not really sure you, you know I think um my way of thinking would say if they took out Aegon, uh, if, if they had said this this particular bloodline is going to be 
the, who's uh, you know ascending to the throne next. If Egan was gone, it wouldn't then go back to Rhaenyra. It would go to his brother. You know what I'm but saying? I'm saying if, if the dragon oh just, just took out everybody, everybody this um, then it would I think then it would have to be Rhaenyra. You know? But that would have been interesting. She, she may have taken. Though. She may have claimed she could the have throne. Taken it, yeah, said it was rightfully mine and All it was along. taken from me, given to Viserys. So, um, so many things to consider. And of course, we can't just uh, bang <laughs> these out like a, a Netflix drop. No. Where we can binge it. So we're gonna have to wait. But uh, it's uh, it's it's a show very well worth waiting yeah i mean i think some shows really benefit from making you wait a week and think and consider and talk to your friends and bounce theories back and forth we get to bounce theories back and forth with all you guys out there i think for some shows that really works well and then i think with others uh it's a little bit better to binge them all at once. I, I really, you know, i'm i'm like anybody else look i've binge watched a lot of shows i've gone through um, I've said a few times in other shows, but my most epic binging ever was the TV show Lost. I mean, there was like seven seasons, like 24 episodes. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie, guys. There was some times like <laughs> I didn't see the sun in a day. You know, I'd wake, I'd wake up at like seven in the morning. What are you doing today? I, just leave me alone. <laughs> and I'd be like burning through Lost all day. I was in the sun's uh, down. I was like a recluse. Um, but I would have I would have binged this whole thing, but and I'm sure I would have still enjoyed it equally as much. But I will say there's definitely something for the anticipation. There really like is. we're like oh I can't wait what's happening. But yeah. it's also it does foster good conversation because I think what happens when you release it as a whole, people want to come back and discuss the whole story. You know this is the start, this is the finish, and when you release it like this, we really get to break down each episode yeah. and really get to kind of go through the ins and outs of each little subplot that happens throughout the course of the episodes as opposed to like what'd you think of the series <laughs> yeah. you know and now uh, we want more you know yeah so i i think yeah. this is just absolutely phenomenal and i have every bit of confidence that this last uh this last episode is going to just be incredible so we're gonna be anxiously waiting but oh, uh you know man. you guys are gonna take that ride along with us so Guys, I don't know about you, but I cannot wait for the finale of this. So for the Appleton Oak, I'm Mason Quinn. This has been Bad Medicine, and we're going to see you back on the next House of the Dragon.